and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Grixis midrange. It's going to be our last deck of the night for ranked tonight. Uh, the Citadel deck didn't go so well, unfortunately, so let's get these wins back with Grixis here. Um, playing the same list that we played the last time that we played this deck. We've always had some pretty good success with Grixis midrange here. And I always like playing it. It's a fun deck to play. So we're going to get to it. Um, there's not too much to say about the list. There's not nothing like too special about it. Um, we've, we've played this, you know, like four or five times now. So nothing, uh, nothing that you won't really expect. Um, maybe you don't expect Bedeck. But this is a good card that the front half kills a Danto Vanguard, which Grixis can struggle with, and the back half can be useful against Control and uh, Field of the Dead. Um, I think I still like Thief of Sanity instead of War Boss. You know, these could definitely be four War Bosses here, um, and I, I don't dislike that. You know, I like War Boss. Uh, also, it's it's. You know, it's kind of like I'm not sure exactly which one to go with. I've I've been like on Thief of Sanity, and I've been happy with Thief of Sanity, been satisfied with it, um, and so still staying with Thief of Sanity. The more like creatures that your opponent's playing, like on the ground, the you know, like the yeah, the more creatures are playing on the ground, the better Thief of Sanity is. The more uh, removal spells your opponents are playing, and Planeswalkers and and non creatures, like if they're not playing creatures, War Boss is better because like the haste can finish off like little Teferi, especially like against like a little Teferi deck without creatures. You want War Boss for sure, um, but then against a deck that's like just playing like creatures on the ground and everything, you want Thief that can hit in the air. Thief's a really good late game card, and that's what our deck um, can get to the late game with like having removal spells and everything. And our deck just has a lot of powerful threats between Knight, Nickel Bolas, um, and then obviously these other things. Like so, like they're using their like removal spells on your on your knights and your your nickel boluses and everything and you're using your removal spells on their stuff and thought erasure and other removal spells and then you know maybe thief can be the last creature standing that's kind of the hope um but let's play some matches we're gonna play four matches over here in ranked today unless we go oh three again hopefully not um but let's let's get some wins we got Two and two is our best. Thankfully, we just leveled up um, in one of those. We just moved up from platinum to diamond. And so the three losses in a row there with Citadel, all it did was uh, push us right back to, you know, like just being at diamond. So like we didn't really lose ground with the losses there. <laughs> yeah, no flame sweep. I mean, we have we have Legion's Ends. So that's what we got going on there. Hey, Wispy. Glad Grixis Midrange is your favorite. Yeah, we've been playing Dave here quite a few times. Uh, where's Hello? Hello. Is this the third time we've got paired against Dave today? It's definitely at least the second, but I think maybe even the third. Teamer Elementals. Or just Teamer stuff. I will erasure here this turn. Say no Risen Reef for you. Wow. Well, that's a good hand. That's a really good hand. Still has to be no Risen Reef, but that's a good hand. I guess what I didn't, um, I didn't, uh, yeah, the music is dead. I didn't mention this for the new recording. If you didn't see the other recordings, if you're watching on YouTube later, but for those of y'all here in chat, I have a command for it. Thanks, Frisky Biscuits. But basically, the reason why it's pretty quiet today is because yesterday my computer decided to do some updates. Really, another Risen Reef? Just decided to update, you know, like window, you know Windows. It'll just throw updates randomly. And so it updated. I wasn't in the room, you know, I just had my computer on and it just updated. 
and then that messed up all of my sound settings and everything and so um all the sounds kind of messed up so we don't have i don't have music playing during the stream today and i don't have um the sounds available here so hopefully i'll have that all fixed for tomorrow i'll spend time working on that tomorrow but for today that's a no-go all right so we know both of their cards in hand are spells because they didn't play any lands to trigger the omnath whoa finale of devastation that card is sweet and that's the card they discard i feel bad because that's a cool card um no i have not tried system restore i don't know what that really means but does that does that fix like all of my like my like my OBS settings were messed up, and then I use like a um, I use like a an uh, a virtual cable to um, have multiple audio tracks to be able to have like the music on stream and record without music for YouTube and, you know, messed up those settings. I don't know if, uh, if that, if those fix that. If you did a rollback to a restore point, it should restore all your previous settings. Yeah, you can also go to Spotify and play my playlist. Yeah, I have I have my playlist here also, so you can play that as well. Why does my opponent have to draw all of their Risen Reefs? We've not been getting very lucky today. Opponents have been drawing a lot better than us. As you see, by us drawing a bunch of lands, my opponent's finding all of their Risen Reefs. Um... Another question. What was the other question? Struggling to climb up diamond right now. Do you have a deck that you recommend? Uh, it's hard to say because everybody's play style is different. Um, honestly, so that's that's pretty hard to say. I've been I've been using Sultai Treachery as like my rank up deck of choice. Like whenever I play, I played off stream. Uh, yesterday I was just playing some matches and I was doing really well with my Soul Tide Treachery deck. I mean, but that's that's not for everybody. Um, I know, but uh, that's that's kind of my deck of choice. There's a lot of you know like popular tier one decks running around. Um, I am planning on tomorrow, depending on how long it takes me to to figure out all the sound settings. My plan was tomorrow to uh, be able to record a deck tech with the Soul Tide Treachery deck where I have sideboarding, like a sideboard guide on there. But we'll see if I'm, we'll see how much time this, uh, this takes me to figure out all the sound stuff. Like we, we spent like 45 minutes to an hour on it, like before the stream and then at the beginning of stream trying to figure out all the sound stuff and just couldn't all right well i should have blocked first and then activated i suppose So what am I doing with sideboard against elementals? Besides hoping that after I get rid of, after I thought erasure two risen reefs, they don't just draw the third. Besides that, what are we doing? I mean, it certainly looked like I should have just taken Omnath. I don't know. So Noxious Grasps are in here. What if I Unmoored Ego Risen Reef? 
Is that crazy? I usually hate on Mordigo in these kind of matchups, but I don't know both Ris both Risen Reef and Cavalier Thorns are so difficult to deal with. Noctis Grasp replaces Legion's End, which isn't very good. I mean, Angrath, Big Chandra, yeah, Angrath and Big Chandra aren't spectacular. I do like Big Chandra more than Angrath. I think I'm just going to go with this. Yeah, we're just going to go with this. Of course, the minus three on Big Chandra doesn't do anything. Uh, you know, di only does damage to non-elementals, but it's just the minus X. That's what we're really playing the Chandra for. Just, you know, even if we just minus six and exile Cavalier Thorns, it's not efficient, but it gets the job done. So we got turn two Bedeck into turn three Thief. Hoping they don't have removal for Thief. You've been going with Esper Mill for the rank up, Kendis. Awesome. I like that deck. Thunderkin Awakener looked awesome our last our uh, our last game for our opponent, but that's also because they have Risen Reef in their graveyard. It's the kind of card that's like when it's getting back Risen Reef, it's awesome. But if you just have this card and you don't have Risen Reef, this card is not any good. Really? Bleh. Well, this has gone as bad as it could go. Whenever we played, after we played Thief, that is. No, not necessarily. We did draw that that red source, so we did get pretty fortunate there. And Knight was a really good draw for us, also to be able to play a threat and hold up a devil. What do I think of Rampage of the Clans plus twenty Ley Lines? Um, sounds exciting. Doesn't necessarily sound good, but sounds thrilling. Um, it's very spicy. It's a very spicy meatball there. One damage isn't really that valuable. I would rather protect Nicol Bolas in case of, like, Thunderkin Awakener from like if they just have like another awakener and you have like a, a haste creature attacking Nicol Bolas, or if they have scampering scourger uh with some one ones of either of those that was honestly a surprise I feel like if I'm them, I'm just going to Omnath and kill the 1-2 and just keep Shock in my hand. Because they just uh, opted to cast Shock, basically, there. All right, let's go with the please don't re draw removal for one turn plan. All right, so our opponent kept in a bunch of Shocks. <clears throat> Usually with Grixis decks, like maybe they board out removal, like some removal, then your Thief of Sanity is better, but it doesn't look like Thief of Sanity will be that good if they have a bunch of shocks. I 
Problem is I don't really want to play any of these cards. This Chandra could recast these things. I'm just gonna go with does not it does not recast a bedeck. I think I'm just gonna go with Thief still. Yeah. I would recommend if you're going yeah, okay, so if you're going with the Rampage of the Clans deck, I would definitely recommend playing Smothering Tithe. You know, that's a that's a good way to get a lot of artifacts and enchantments. Your opponents just don't pay the two, they give you your your treasure token. I definitely recommend playing some some smothering tithes. That is, you know, playing for a longer game. I know you're trying to play for a really fast game there. Um Of course if you are going the ley lines with rampage of the clans you know if your opponent just plays a legion's end which is the most popular removal spell right now but if they just have a legion's end you just lose that's kind of a problem yeah i've i've played some Oh gosh, I didn't I didn't pay attention. Whoops. I thought that yeah, that's not Steam Vents. I wanted to have Noxious Grasp available here to be able to, you know, play Noxious Grasp on this turn. Alright, not punished. All good, not punished. Still have grasp available. Good, no big Chandra. Hmm, I guess they're just chilling with removal over there. Um, yeah, I've, I've played a, some Rampage of the Clan Smothering Tithe decks, but I've usually played a more control rack control route with darn we don't have um with emergency powers being a draw seven or they don't don't pay the they don't pay the tax to emergency towers and you make a whole bunch of uh, treasures and then also that draw seven helps you find rampage of the clans And you can also have the, the Narset. Um, Narset uh, emergency powers combo in there. Maybe holding up another. Ooh, looks like we get to hit. Probably holding up another Disdainful Stroke. It's a good hit. You got owned the other day by that combo. Yeah, Narset emergency powers is broken. I mean, Cavalier of Thorns is my best play, but I think that they're going to disdainful stroke it. Oh, well, we'll just let them disdainful stroke it, I guess. No. I can't steal any more sanity. What's their last card? Thunderkin Awakener. 
Is that ironic? That there's an Awakener in the graveyard? Doesn't seem like where the Awakener is supposed to go to an eternal slumber in the graveyard. Wow, the opponent's living the dream here. Living the dream. Yeah, Golden Goose is basically a Land of War replacement, but... Hmm. But still pretty strong. Like, you know, it adds mana of any color. Uh, can can do other things also, you know, creating food tokens that you get to then sacrifice to gain life, like in in long games, you know, gives it utility. So if I Bedevil a Risen Reef right away, then the Omnath kills a Knight of the Ebon Legion. But if I go that route, then they target Nicol Bolas because I have the Knight activation up, and then I kill the Omnath, and it doesn't kill my Nicol Bolas. So even though Risen Reef may be a better card to kill, it meant that I got to keep Knight of the Ebon Legion around. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. You've ground out 3,200 XP from that event? Oh, dang. Man, I liked it a lot better when they had no cards in hand. But then drawing Neoformed a Risen Reef and then into another Risen Reef and then that crazy turn. <sighs> we cannot get land. Still just single spelling. This does not look good for us. I'll, I'll be surprised if we win this. With them having six cards plus infinite mana. And we know they're all spells because the Risen Reef's just putting a whole bunch of spells in hand. Like I don't I don't think we're beating six spells with infinite with infinite mana over there. Sorry if that I could have gave a, a better warning or something. There was a, like a little gnat on the mic. Sorry about that if I if that bothered your ears if you're uh, wearing headphones. I guess I should have gave a better warning. But I got it, so that's good. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Arai. So you checked it, and it looks like the system restore would work if I go that route, if I figure out what that means and how to do that. But the next update might break it again, so it's a better idea just to figure out how to get it. And just draw lands. I just want to draw lands.
We did well with Demir Control the other day. It was it was okay. It wasn't as good as Chandra Tribal. Chandra Tribal was really was the best deck that we played on Monday. All right, so I'm guessing they have a Thunderkin Awakener. How they started digging through down here. Change your system settings to manually apply updates instead of automatic. Okay, I'll I'll see if I'll see if there's a setting that I can figure that out. I thought that's what I already had, to be honest, because that update it, it had asked like four or five, six times something like that recently, and I was always like, no, don't update. And it, it never said, you know, like we'll update later on or anything. It was just like, hey, like there's this this update that's gonna go away, you know, in like a month if you don't update it's gonna go away like do you want to do it and I was like no I don't care isn't it nice having infinite mana and being able to cast your spells isn't that nice Yeah, that's that's what it looked like. Yeah, it was like a forced update. Okay, so that's current windows. You can only delay a finite number of times. And then it just auto does it because Windows knows better than us. Well, we were looking good. You know, game one, we thought Erasure had two Risen Reefs. They just draw more. That game, they had nothing in hand. They had nothing in hand, two O threes. I had, you know, like three creatures in play and like four or five good cards in hand. But of course I never draw lands. I can't ever cast my spells. They draw Risen Reef into Risen Reef and then into Omnath that draws a whole bunch of more stuff and into like a Chandra that, you know, triggers for like four more draws. I just can't draw any lands. Couldn't play anything. All right. So infinite mana is better than no mana. All right. Hey, good dude. GG's. That's just how today's been for me. Oh, I, I know you didn't snipe, good dude. You're good. <laughs> That's just how, how everything today is just not, like, nothing's going my way. You know, it's all started with the sound earlier today. And I'm trying to stay positive. But, man, we've had just the worst luck today. And I, I don't want to sound like somebody who, like, I don't want to just, like, sit here and sound like I'm complaining all the time. I know that's that's not, if I was watching, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to watch that. You know, I wouldn't want to listen to somebody complain. So we're trying to stay positive. We're going to see how we do this game, see how Thieves Sanity does for us here. So Hostage Taker is pretty good on Voracious Hydra, where even if they kill Hostage Taker, Voracious Hydra dies. And if they don't kill Hostage Taker, then we can Voracious Hydra and kill like Llanowar Elf. Um, obviously, casting Thought Erasure is good, though, as well. The other, like. The other problem with hostage takering though, and then playing a, a Hydra is they get to bounce their Hydra. Hey, Blue Jin. Hmm. Tough call. I'm gonna go with Thought Erasure and Knight, I guess.
Uh, yep. Well, that card's good against Hydroid Crisis. Well, thanks, thanks everybody for being positive too. Help me out. Y'all are nice. Thank you so much. Hey, how about that? We thought Erasure Risen Reef. Their first draw is another immediate Risen Reef. Not surprised. Nikki B should be pretty good. They may bounce Voracious Hydra and re-kill something. But if they just... Yeah, that's fine. I was going to say, if they just try to Deputy Detention Nickel Bolas, we get to get rid of Deputy Detention, and then we get the Nickel Bolas back. All right, so we get to take the other crisis. I don't expect them just to discard crisis, right? Yeah, so basically going to have them make that decision. I want them to make their discard decision before they know that their crisis is gone. Ugh, another voracious hydra. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Yeah, I, I wanted them to draw another Hydra also, but I wanted them to draw this Hydra, not that Hydra. I guess I should just attack and activate instead of play defense. Because we're doing four damage there plus growing knight. We're just out racing them. What? Did they just throw away their Hydra? Well, that was helpful. Yeah, I'm I'm not worried about an O one Hydra. Which is why I didn't I didn't replay it. I, I forced their hand of deputying the hostage taker, which is, you know, better for me than them deputying the Knight of the Ebon Legion.
Because I can, now I have this hostage shaker I can get back. Well, bad news. That's a really bad card for me to see because that just draws three. You know, it's just Ancestral Recall plus a 6-6. Six, six. But good news. That's a good card for me to hostage taker. I can cast it right now. Nah. Would have only drawn two cards if I cast it. Then I'll draw three. But waiting here. Okay, we got six in the air, they're at six. It's convenient. There we go. Yeah, I guess they didn't want to bounce Hostage Taker and let me just play Hostage Taker and retake a land or off. Or, you know, I guess. So Legion's End looks really good against our opponent. They're playing all these uh, Hydras and everything. Noxious Grasp. Looks pretty good as well. Um, hmm. I kind of want three mana Chandra. Yeah, I think I do want three mana Chandra. Maybe no Thief of Sanity? Eisenhower. Closing in on that one year badge. Thanks for that resub. Thanks, Eisenhower. Let's go 16. Actually, let's take out Bedeck. We upgraded Bedeck to other removal spells. <clears throat> we'll take out Tonebound Lich. And Zerf! Everything is going well. Thank you so much there, Zerf. Sticking with the tier 3 sub. 28 months. You're amazing. Thank you so much, Zerf. All right, that gets me 62. And then, uh, let's go with a Phoenix. Yeah, let's go with a Knight and a Phoenix. Let's trim those. I think I wanna play the one Chandra. I don't really want the second. I want to keep the one in though. And just kind of have some interaction. They have a good amount of, like, you know, Phoenix isn't great against Teferi and Deputy Detention and all that kind of stuff. I'm expecting Devout Decree here as well, and it doesn't, like, really have an ETB effect. To be fair, neither does Thief of Sanity, but Thief of Sanity just takes over the game if it's not answered immediately. Well, Diva Sandy's going right over there with that baffling end. I 
mean, our, our plan's just Nicol Bolas Dragon God. That's the plan. We'll see if a plan comes together. Do love it when a good plan comes together. That should help the plan. Double deputy. Deputy's pretty annoying, because they deputy Dragon God, and then what, I play a new Dragon God and kill it, but then I get the old one back, and so then I have to sacrifice one. So that's kind of annoying. I mean, I'm still just definitely playing the, the Planeswalker, obviously. But I'd like to draw a removal spell for Deputy. Not just all lands. Scry to the bottom. Removal spell for deputy. Ugh. All right, I'm not even going to minus. I'm just going to tick up. They can exile their deputy if they want, then I get another bolus tick up. <laughs> oh, you're playing standard 2020 right now, and you're like, why is nobody playing Vrasis Contempt? <laughs> well, there's probably a good reason for that. I think we can probably figure it out if we really think about it. Boo. All right, so they should be getting Krasis back, most likely. Dang. Well, I got two cards. Nickel Bolas Dragon God and Real Estate. Do you need anything more than that? Probably not. It's probably all I need. Yeah, it's either Nickel Bolas or Lands. Nothing else. We're taking nothing else at all. 
you're not a land, if you're not a nickel bolus, then you can just get on out of here. <laughs> All right, that dragon god is gone, unfortunately. <laughs> hmm. This one's still around, though. That's not a nickel bolus or a land. We got to get rid of that one real quick. And there we go. All right, we picked up a win. It had been a little while, but we got there. About all you need is a nickel bolus and some lands. That's all you need. <laughs> GG's. Oh, those are some good games there. <laughs> yeah, bolus midrange. Save dog and shelters. Oh, that is awesome. That is a really cool. That's a really cool charity event. Or like that. That's just a really cool charity to support. A charity that saves dogs in shelters that would have otherwise been put down and then train them to help those struggling with depression and everything. And that's really cool. Um, so is this all we need? Lands and nickel bolus? That's what we said, right? That's all we need? Those, those were my... That's what my sentence was before. That's all we need. Bolus midrange it is. Oh man. Our house is full of of bolus. The house is full. I guess we do need an island for Nickel Bolas to go chill on. Nickel loves just hanging out on the island. I guess we need that. There's the island. It is a pretty lonely island. Being the only one, being next to that mountain. Devotion to Bolos. I'm curious why they think that Merfolk Branch Walker is more valuable than Llanowar Elf.
think it's boluses or is that bo bolasses? Kind of like molasses. Breakfast nickel bolus. I get some bolasses. So obviously, this is a huge problem for us. Obviously. And like this, this thing ultimating, threatening ultimate. Okay, okay. Makes our life not really any more manageable. I need to kill Nyssa, and we can't kill Nyssa. I guess I can Legion the Paradise Druids and not attack. Attacking's not really getting getting me anywhere fast. We have a Vivian. I can't be Vivian. Damn, planeswalkers are busted. They got to play their three. I didn't get to play my three. All right, Elder, Sp Elder Spell, Noxious Grasps, Chandra to recast those. This Chandra kills Planeswalkers. Um, I don't know. That thing gets rid of Planeswalkers. <laughs> a bolus a day keeps the Golgari away. I know, we didn't do a good enough job keeping the Golgari away. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be playing these duresses. Unmort well, Ego is not a card to play against mid-range decks at all. This is a horrible matchup to play on Mort Ego. It would cost us the game. Because we have to spend a turn and three mana to do nothing. I guess I can't play. I don't really need Legion's End. Let's get rid of Legion's End. Let's keep this cast down and keep this one duress just to get him. Yeah, I like the one duress. That'll get him. Because even if you name a card in their hand with Unmoored Ego, they get to dr draw a new card. So you don't you don't take any cards out of their hand. So all you do is just take like some cards out of their deck. But it doesn't it doesn't take cards out of their hand. It doesn't stop you from dying from the stuff on the battlefield. Um, there's not any specific card that's backbreaking. You only play on Mordigo if taking a specific card out of their deck cripples their deck. That's the only time you play on Mordigo. Taking Nissa does not cripple their deck. They play other things that kill you. While you're on Mordi going, they're playing those other things and they're killing you. Blech. That card's so good. Their Steel Leaf Champion? I guess I could have guessed that. Yeah, I 
guess I could have guessed they were Steel Leaf champion since they had Arc Bow Ranger. No, why'd we draw the Bedevil right then? Right before... They played Duress. Well, this is a, if we win this, I'll be really saying something because their hand doesn't get any better. Turn one elf, turn two paradise druid, turn three uh, Vivian. Turn four duress plus branch walker and then Nissa. My plan was there to, to not block to be able to play the Chandra and minus four on the Steel Leaf champion. Come on. But now we're dead. Taking 10, going to one. Um, Chandra minus three doesn't save us because Woodland Cemetery is an elemental. It looks like I need to block last turn. If I would have blocked the, the previous turn, I would have been able to play Nickel Bolas, get rid of their last card, which I don't know, I don't know what their last card was, either the land or the Golgari Queen. Probably the Golgari Queen, because if it's, if it's the land, they probably play it because they know I have the other Nickel Bolas. So, yeah, just very, very good hand and draw steps for the opponents. And well played. Good job. GG's Brutality. GG's. All right, one last match for tonight. Hopefully we can end the, the stream on a win. Yeah, fun games. Yeah, fun games. Those were those are real competitive for us, though. Um, nothing's today's been a real rough day, and that was not so rough. Those are those are just good games. So this is not a very good play if they just have another Oath of Kaya. But it was a good play against a fairy. So that's good. I don't have that many blue red lands because of needing triple black for Dragon God. So I'm not I'm not playing that many blue red lands. We have seven blue red lands. I'm only playing the three sulfur falls. I have eighteen black sources.
Yep, tomorrow's another day. Yeah, even though today's rough, tomorrow's another day. Aw, oh, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub there, Brutality. Thank you. So I thought for sure that whichever one of these two that I play was going to die. And so I'd rather have Knight die than Thief die. So I went with a Knight. Looks like they have another Thought Erasure. That's lucky. Hey, Salty Hercules. That's a hard card. To... Or like that's that's a really good card to have. Thought Erasure. Wow. Okay. They took my unplayable card. That's cool. Cast Down's good against Deputy, but I would rather look for black mana. And I'm glad we didn't keep it. I need to draw black mana right now to get rid of that Hero of Dominaria. Uh-huh. Well, thanks, Brutality. Are you kidding me? They, f they just drew... Thought Erasure number three. That's a horrible beat for us. That's what today has been all about. I mean, I guess... We just play this thief that gets bounced back to our hand, I suppose. This is this is the kind of matchup where War Boss is miles better. You know, like if we would have War Boss, we'd be able to like ping the little Teferi here so they don't get to just bounce this and we get the two creatures and everything. But Thief of Sanity is just very bad in this kind of matchup. Okay. Just killing it. Hopefully we draw a land. Hooray. Now all they have are two Teferis and a Deputy at Attention, and we are top decking. OK. Oh, they just drew a citadel that get out, got him into fairy. That's pretty cool. That's a good idea, though, Matthew. All right, bringing in those things. Cutting Legion's End, cast down. So uh, this bit deck. So the, the thing about Thief of Sanity is it's it's horrific against three mana to fairy, but any game they don't have three mana to fairy, it's, it's pretty good. You know, it does die to Othakaya. You know, kind of keeps them honest. Hostage takers are usually pretty good in this matchup. Like, they'll have something to hostage take, probably. But maybe not. Maybe I just don't play him. All right, we just won't play him. Hey, Waticus.
Okay, can we end with a win? I'm trying here. I'm trying. I'm not getting much help. So we're getting rid of a Sulphur Falls, of course. The blue red lands are our worst lands. As long as we have <clears throat> a little bit of blue and red mana. But so if you if we can't cast Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, we don't want it. Oh, they just have Hero of Precinct 1? That's cool. That's cool, I suppose. We're gonna die. Their hand's so loaded they just discard Narset. Well, I got nothing over here. <laughs> Mulligan no hands into all land Mulligan no lands into all lands signature move. Yep, yeah, it's a good it's a good move. Well the good news is if they don't have removal for the Ravager for two turns, we're likely gonna be able to flip it. Nope, they just had it immediately. Best possible card to play. That was definitely a really good draw for us. No complaints there. Because the uh, Teferi's take over. Chandra would be pretty nice here, where we could Chandra minus three and get rid of those creatures. I don't know if I've ever had boiled peanuts to be to be honest. I like peanuts. I have you know I uh, go into like a, a baseball game, I love getting peanuts and stuff and and just uh, at the grocery store, I'll get like the dollar bag of peanuts to have sometimes. But hey, they draw more to fairies. What a sweet life! What a sweet life! Okay, so we went 1-3 with Grixis midrange. I don't think that's really that indicative of our deck not being good. I think the deck's just fine. I just think we just had a horrible luck day, and that just happens. I don't think that. I don't think this 1-3. We've had a lot of success with this deck in the past. I don't think this 1-3 means that our deck isn't any good anymore. Um, that very last matchup, that Esper Control, that is the matchup to be playing War Boss instead of Thief. War Boss is much better there. But as so, as I mentioned about at the beginning of the video, I can really see the the merits of playing War Boss instead of Thief. If you play against a lot of Esper, play War Boss instead. Um, there are a lot of decks that don't play just a ton of removal though right now, and I like Thief more in those kind of matchups. Um, you know, like your your rock decks. I would rather be playing Thief than Warboss. 
or boss really bad against your rock. Um, and just even against like uh, uh, vampires, I've I've had a, a good amount of success with this with uh, Thief of Sanity in this deck against vampires. Even just you know you don't block with your thief, but then they don't play like a lot of removal for it, and you just hit them and you get like one drops. You know you could take keep taking like their one drops to give you like chump blockers and buy you time and and everything and trade with their stuff and you know allows you to double spell quite a bit by getting like the one mana cards over and over again so even in like that kind of matchup i like thief but the esper matchup that's one where war boss looks a lot better anyway there we go that's grixis midrange so if you're watching later on youtube thank you so much for watching um hope you hope you uh hit the like button subscribe leave comments all that kind of stuff but I really do appreciate you watching the videos today. Uh, but that's it here for Grixis Midrange. Thanks so much for watching again. I'll see you for the next video.